All right, artists, are we ready to think about how to create a different kind of web based on the story Walter's Wonderful Web, which we just read together? Uh, we are going to think about how to create webs. And inside of this book, we saw Walter create different shaped webs. For example, a square web. A rectangle web. Even a diamond web, right? So, some shapes that we're going to think about a little closer today are going to be the shapes that Walter talks about at the end of the story. Okay, so we have the triangle, circle, square, diamond, and rectangle. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to practice some of those shapes and think about how we can turn these shapes into webs. So the first thing we want to do is grab a piece of blank paper. Color doesn't really matter, although I happen to have a white piece of paper handy, so that's what I'm going to use. I also grabbed a Sharpie, but I'd prefer you to grab a pencil, please. I'm using a Sharpie so that you can see the lines a little better through the camera and through the computer. But you should grab a pencil that has an eraser and a nice point. Okay, so we're going to put that aside. We're actually going to fold our paper. We're going to fold it in four. It's what we call quadrants. Okay, so our paper is going to be folded into four quadrants. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to take our paper and we're going to fold it like a book. We're going to fold it and we're going to line up the corners so that the corner and the edge all match up. Okay, so we'll press in the middle. Take your fingertip and press in the middle. And now it should open a bit like a book does, right? Okay, we can actually leave it just like that for our next fold. At our next fold, we're gonna go up. So what we're going to do is just keep it folded and we're gonna go up, same thing. We're gonna match our corners and our edge. And when they look like they're lined up really well, we're gonna take our finger and we're going to press and make a crease. So we've just made one of our quadrants, believe it or not. Okay, so as I unfold, voila, we should have one, two, three, four sections of our paper. So there's kind of like a cross that's created. Now, if you want to, you can take your pencil and you can trace that line where the crease is, where the fold is. And you'll see very visibly our four quadrants. Okay, one, two, three, four. Now, what are we doing inside of those? Well, that's a good question. So inside of each of those spaces, we're going to make four mini spider webs. We're going to practice how to make spider webs. And you'll, you'll see why probably in the next week or so when we start our next project has to do with Walter and his wonderful web and spider webs. So we're going to draw a few shapes. Let's practice our shapes. What we are going to do in this quadrant is let's draw ourselves a nice rectangle. So a rectangle has a long side and two shorter sides. And then we just meet them like that. So these two lines are the same. These two lines are the same. And in that place, we have a rectangle. Okay. So next door to that, let's go ahead and draw a triangle. How many sides does a triangle have? It 
If you said three, you are correct. Rectangle, triangle. Okay, let's go right underneath the triangle. Let's draw a square. A square has four equal sides. So we wanna to try to make a nice big square. And we want these sides to be pretty equal. So unlike the rectangle, we want each of these lines to be as similar to the next as we can make them. Okay? So we have one more box left. Let's draw what we call a diamond. It's actually a square that's kind of been tilted and moved. So the point's gonna be at the top. Kind of like a mountain, right? And then we wanna flip that idea and do it again on the bottom. Just like so. All right, so now we have four shapes, our rectangle, our triangle, our square, and our diamond. Now those are great, but we wanna turn them into spider webs. So here's how we're gonna do that. I think the simplest way to think about doing this is to draw a mini shape inside the shape we just drew. So watch what I'm talking about. So inside our rectangle, I want you to draw a smaller rectangle. Notice how much room I left all in this space, right? But they're about the same shape. It's called different proportions. This one's bigger. This one shrinks down to be a little smaller. Okay. Now to turn this into a spider web, what we're gonna do is connect corners. So I'm gonna connect this corner out. I'm gonna connect this corner out. I'm gonna connect this corner out. And I'm gonna connect this corner out. Okay, so you do the same thing. Hope you're following along. Now, the cool thing is we really get to turn it into what we feel like a spider web. So spider webs are really delicate. They're really beautiful. They have really beautiful patterns if you've never seen one up close. And I just read somewhere, I think it takes a spider about six hours to make a spider web. Isn't that cool? So what we're going to do is we're going to copy that shape over and over again. So essentially what we're doing is we're making more rectangles. And I'm just going to take a little skip. And the rectangle always turns the corner when they reach this line. It's important that when we reach that line, we stop, we turn directions, and then we go up, and then we're going to go over, and we're going to match it up with where we stopped there. Now, I think that's going to be enough for my spider web. I don't see much more room in here, so I'm going to just halt right there, okay? Hope that kind of looks like a spider web to you. Now, it's not quite the shape we expect, but remember, Walter had to practice all these different shapes before he got the right one. So let's try the triangle together. So the first thing we're going to do is draw a small circle. No, we're going to draw a, tr a small triangle, right? Okay. And then we connect corners. So I see a corner, and I'm going to draw it out there. I see a corner, I'm going to draw it out there. I see a corner, I'm going to draw it out there. Okay, now what do I do next? Remember, I'm going to connect but I'm basically drawing more triangles, right? So think about drawing a medium-sized triangle, connecting them on those lines. I think I have room for at least one more line here. You might have drawn a smaller triangle, a bigger triangle. 
depends on how much room you'll have to draw all these web lines. Okay. Now, I want you to try these two by yourself right now. Okay, so remember, the first thing we're gonna do is look at the shape that we drew and draw a small one in the center. Then we're gonna connect corners and then we're just gonna connect with other shapes that look like this one. I wanna see if you can practice the square on your own and the diamond on your own and then we'll have time to share in just a second. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a couple minutes to do that, everybody, and then we'll come together to share our work. Okay, so remember, smaller shape, connect corners, and then draw the web lines. Okay, I'll check on you in just a second. Have fun and good luck. Think about my friend Walter and what kind of web he wants to create.